Now, this video is all about finding the area of, of this triangle. Now, we are given the perimeter, which is 120, and we are given the hypothesis of the triangle, which is um, 51. And this triangle is a right angle triangle because this angle here is 90. So now let's start. Now you have the triangle like this. Here is 90 degree. Here is 51. Let's say from here to here is Y. And from here to here is our X. Now let's call here A B C. Now, the perimeter of the triangle is equal to what? 1 to 8. Now, and perimeter is equal to the sum of all the sides. So, the sum of all the sides, you have A, B, plus B, C, plus A, C. So, which is X plus Y plus 51. And this is also the same thing as 1 to 8. So, that means X plus Y plus 51 is equal to 1 to 8. Now, if I move 1, and 51 to this other side, you now have x plus y is equal to 120 minus 51. That means x plus y is equal to 69. So this is equation 1. Now, equation 2. Now, applying Pythagoras theorem, we know that the hypothesis square is equal to a b square plus b c square so the hypothesis is 51 square is equal to x square plus y square so that means we have x square plus y square to be equal to 51 this is another equation. Let's call this equation, sorry, square. So now that means x square plus y square is equal to. So 51 square will give us 2601. Now let me call this, this, is, this should be the equation two. Now, Squaring both sides of equation 1. The equation 1 is x plus y. Now let's square both sides, which is x plus y square, then 69 square. Now let's square this. To open up this bracket, you have x plus y times x plus y equal to 69 squared. So using this x to multiply the whole of this, you have x squared plus xy. And then using this y to multiply the whole of this, you have plus xy plus y squared is equal to what? 69 squared will give us what? 4,761. Four now, bringing these like terms together, you have x squared plus y squared plus this one now will now be 2xy is equal to 4761. Now, let's call this equation 3. Now, we'll now see substituting, substituting x squared plus y square equal to 2601 into equation 3. So wherever we see x square plus y square, we we'll replace it with 2601. So 
in equation 3. So in equation 3, you have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy equal to 4761. And this is equal to what? 2601 plus 2xy equal to 4761. So if we move this to this other side, you now have 2xy is equal to 4761 minus 2601. So 2xy now will now be equal to. If we minus this, we have 2160. Now we've gotten this. Let's call this equation 4. Now, the area, the area of the triangle we're looking for, the area of the triangle is half base times what height. So, area of the triangle, half base times height. Now, the base in this triangle, in this right angle triangle, the base in this right angle triangle is x, which is what? BC. Now, the height of the triangle is this y. So we have 1 all over. And so, so we have half times xy. That is the area of the triangle they want us to find. Now, but we have from, from equation 4, from equation 4, we have 2xy equal to 2160. Now, for us to make this in this form, we divide both sides by 4. So, dividing both sides by 4, 2 divided is 1, 2 divided is 2. So, we have half xy equal to, so 2, 2, 2,160 divided by 4, we have 5,000, sorry, 540 which is the area. So it now implies that the area of the triangle is equal to what? 540 units square. Units square. See, there is no units. They didn't give us any units. So that is the end of this. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day.